this video is about ornithology and I'm an avid ornithologist anyway it's about birds and we're gonna be discussing the habitat of birds you know some of you might have figured this out on your own but we don't exactly live in the forest anymore and as there's more and more of us and as we continue to develop the natural space there's less places for the creatures that share the earth with us to go to, especially birds. In case you didn't notice, there's not exactly that much bird habitat around here. Do you know how many years it takes for a tree to grow big enough and to become hollow enough to become an effective bird habitat? Well, apparently not, because you're watching my channel, right? Hello. Let's find out. Now, this is a London plane tree. You see that? That's a perfect habitat for a woodpecker. These trees are about 75 years old on this tree. Using a diameter tape, we can see that this tree is almost 21 inches in diameter. So it took almost 75 years for this tree to grow and develop and to become hollow enough to support a nest of a woodpecker. There's not that many wildlife trees around. And what little bird habitat is left, I swear some people do everything they can to destroy it, even under the guise of arboriculture. You know, birds do all kinds of good things for us human beings. For example, the white owl right here. What would we do without white owls? Without white owls, where would we put our stuff at night? I got a few things in my pocket that I have to store overnight somewhere. And white owls give us the ability to do that. See what I mean? And birds do all kinds of other stuff for us too. Like, uh, 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 anyway, don't worry about it. I'll be thinking about that later. When I figure it out, when I do remember, I'll make another video and then you can like it and then you can subscribe and then the circle of life will be completed once again. That's right. So slowly but surely, we're eliminating bird environment. Today's episode is about how we can fix that with a simple project. So let's get to work. It's time to give our bird friends a payback with the big payback cigar box. This is uh, a used uh, cigar box that would just end up in the trash. So we're going to do something environmentally responsible and help our bird friends at the same time. Now this is a pretty simple project. You need to drill with a couple of different size bits. You need a clevis, a couple of clevis pins. You need a piece of half or five eighths inch wooden dowel. Uh, and you need an eye bolt with a couple of uh, nuts. And a Forstner bit about two inches is uh, good to have for this project as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the center of the box this way. Uh, using the metric system, which is always handy, we find that the box is about 184 millimeters wide. So you divide that in half and yeah, it's 92, which is right in the middle of this guy's nose right here. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole right in the middle of the nose like this. Right there like that. Now I've turned the box over and, and took the bottom off and this little tip on this Forstner bit is going to drop right into that pilot hole I drilled. And I will come out the box. And I will start the Forstner bit there a little bit on the inside of the box. That way it won't bug out this side when I drill through from the other way.
Okay. Wow, that almost looks just the right size for a bird, doesn't it? Now, birds like to have perches uh, on their birdhouse, but I'm going to make sure that I build this one in such a way that this is actually what holds the birdhouse closed. So when it comes time to clean it out, if you ever need to do that, it's easy to do. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole here and then uh, make a hole big enough that it goes through here all the way through the bottom of the box. And I'll show you a little trick here when we're drilling the pilot hole. Now I've drilled a pilot hole right here and I'm going to use a bigger Forstner bit. But this hole, this is going to go all the way through the box. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping this over like this and lining it up with the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to drill a hole through the bottom like so. And that's going to give me the hole I need at the back to line everything up. So again, when I'm using a Forstner bit, I'm going to put this in that pilot hole I drilled. Do just a little bit on each side that way when it goes through I end up with a nice clean hole instead of it being all pushed out. and I've done the same thing with the top of the box again using the ruler I found the center of the box now that the hole is here and this becomes the top and I'm I've drilled a pilot hole right in the center both ways here so I can drill a larger hole for uh, the hanger which is an eye bolt and it'll be double nutted one nut will be up here one will be on the bottom it's important to find the center so everything balances right when the house is hanging okay so there is our eye bolt up on the top and now i can just drop this down together like this and voila now i'm actually going to hang this in a tree and so I'm not going to want to unbolt the thing from the tree to clean it. So if the day comes where I need to take this apart, what I'm going to do is I've taken the piece of rod, uh, which I'll cut here on the uh, saw and show you how to do that. But I'm going to drill a hole in it this way through here. And that way I can take this clevis pin and put it in the hole and do the same thing on the other side. And that way when I want to take it apart in the field I can pull the top off and I really don't have to screw it together or anything it's a really easy way to do it now I've pre-marked the spot right here and now I'm going to take this to the saw and cut that like so so you can see I've drilled this hole right like this through all the way through with the drill bit and now I've got a pay, place for this clevis pin to drop right in like that. And then I just push it and I'm going to do another one on the other side. So it's snug. It holds the box tight and it's really easy to take apart to clean. Okay. We've drilled the hole in the rod at the front of the box. Second clevis pin drops right into the hole. Spin this sideways. Box is closed. In the future, it's mounted to a tree. You want to open it up, pull the box off. All you have to do is pop that clevis pin out. Really easy and effective. All right, there you go. This is literally a five-minute project, and it gives a bird a home. I'm the cult of, I'm the cult of, I'm the cult of ornithology. Ask not what your country can do for you. And remember, if I like birds, you should.